Watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. Welcome back to Ion Northeast Kansas. The Shawnee County Historical Society is inviting you out to a special show and tell event this weekend. We're happy to have joining us here on the broadcast today, Christine Steinkuhler and Rick Knight to tell us more about this event where you are kind of the star. Rick and Christine, good to see you both. Good nice to see to you. Here. I'm excited to talk about this. It's a show and tell event basically about Shawnee County history this weekend. We've got some cool things we're going to show you as we talk about this. Tell us about this event first and what it's all about. Well, this is just like your first grade show and tell. Yeah. We are hoping members of the community will come out and will bring items of Shawnee County history and they will come up and they will tell us the story. Okay, so it's just uh, really just show and tell, Rick, this is gonna be kind of cool because there's a lot of history here in Shawnee County. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of history and whether it happened yesterday or 150 years ago, it's all history. And that's what we're looking for is something that is, is behind us. And, and there are a lot of things out there that nobody has been exposed to and that's what we're kind of looking for. Tell us about some of these items you have brought here and we'll try to get some shots of some of these. Maybe like this first item right here. This is a piece of a, an old building, right? It is. This is part of the ceiling freeze at the old downtown YMCA, which was at 9th and Quincy and it was from the ballroom. Wow. So kind of gives you an idea of just the grandeur of that ballroom. How old would that be? over a hundred years. Oh, easily. I'm yeah. going to guess it's from the 1880s. Oh my goodness. So that's really, well, when we set it down, we were like, okay, this is very fragile. Be very careful here. Uh, Rick, what are some of these other items you have over here on the table? I brought in a really nice piece of Mary Short pottery. She worked from 1940s to the fifties and into the sixties. Um, she sold to uh, Woolworths and Sears and she was located, her studio was out where Reesers Fine Food is now. And in 1961, her kiln blew up and, and uh, she went out of business. Everything was hand done and she made her own glazes and it's uh, very collectible and, and this is one of her best pieces that it's, I found. It's beautiful, I, I, I love it. I'm trying to open this up here because you brought some blueprints and I'm gonna hold this up here between us if that's okay. Oh, yeah. I, I, don't want, I don't want to damage here. anything here. But these, tell me about these blueprints here and I'll, and I'll hold this up here uh, and we can get a little shot of it. But these are some blueprints to, that are about history as well, right? Well, these are from the Garling House plan books. So Garling House was one of the, actually they still are, one of the largest housing plan book companies in the United States and you could order plans for a house out right. of a catalog. Okay. And they came all from Topeka and this is what you would have gotten. That is so cool. So this would be, you, I'm gonna go in the catalog, order blueprints for a house, and it came from right here in Shawnee County. It did, and you built it yourself. That's um, amazing. You know, this so would have been what would you- how would this be? I'm gonna guess 1920s. Oh my goodness. Garling House, you know, they're still in business, yeah. but they really you started doing that. plans around 1910. Okay. Okay, as I'm just being awkward with everything here. You brought a bottle there. What's the bottle there that we're looking um, at? The bottle is, is uh, Thomas Brandon. He came from Leavenworth in 1871, and he set up shop in the 200 block of Quincy Street, and he was in business, at least till we think, to 1883, where the name changed. Either he died or he moved on. Okay. And this would have been an early pop bottle, and... Um, and it would have had a cork with a wire around it, like a champagne bottle would have. We're gonna put up some information that lets our viewers at home know more about this event coming up this weekend. And basically, it's three o'clock Sunday at the Shawnee County Historical Society over on Southeast Madison. You're gonna present a lot of the items like we're seeing here today and even more, but you're asking folks to bring their own items from Shawnee County history to share with others. And, and I expect you're gonna get some really cool things for folks to see. We hope to. Yeah. We hope to. I'm thinking we've got some relics around here in our building from years gone by. We're turning 70 this year, so we've surely got some Shawnee County history here in the uh, WIBW building. Absolutely. Yeah. So any anything's there's no limits here. Just bring whatever you want, right? Yeah. Yep. And Even, it will go on as long as people have things to show us. Well, it's a really great idea. So again, it's uh, this weekend on Sunday, 3 o'clock at the Shawnee County Historical Society. Rick and Christine, thanks for being here. Thanks for Thank bringing you. in this cool stuff. And thanks for keeping history alive. I think it's one of the best things part of our life today is to be able to look back and see where we came from. So it's good stuff.
All right, thank you both very much. We're going to come back after this quick break and look at the forecast for Friday.